Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive nervous system disease that affects nerve function in the brain and spinal cord. It has various symptoms including muscle twitching and cramping, difficulty walking, slurred speech and trouble swallowing, trouble breathing, cognitive and behavioral changes, and memory and decision making problems. It starts with affecting the outer limbs and then moves its way inward, leading to muscle weakness and loss of function. There are some causes of ALS that scientists are currently researching, such as having damaged motor neurons or inheriting the disease, although there are causes that are still unknown. There are also multiple environmental risk factors that could lead to an increased chance of having ALS. These include old age, smoking, exposure to environmental toxins like lead, and being in the military. The last one might sound a little odd, but it is being investigated. There are multiple treatments that healthcare advisors have started using, such as Relutec and Radicava. Relutec decreases the activity of glutamate, a neurotransmitter, in which excessive buildup can cause ALS. Radicava can slow the decline rate of ALS in patients. These are the only two treatments that are approved by the FDA to help with ALS. However, they are not cures. Feeding tubes, physiotherapy, speech therapy, and breathing ventilators can help in the long run too. The ALS Association plans to make ALS a livable disease by 2030, and they need everyone's help raising money and awareness towards the cause. For decades, ALS has been a fatal disease, but now the ALS Association has set a goal to make ALS a livable disease. ALS as a livable disease means living longer lives. It means living a better quality of life, and it means preventing your loved ones from getting the disease. We will do whatever it takes to make life-extending treatments available to all people with ALS. We will focus on preventing the harms associated with ALS. It also means doing whatever it takes to ensure all people with ALS are empowered. It's their life. They get to live the way that they want. And how do we eliminate and reduce that physical, emotional, and financial burden that every person living with ALS and their entire support system faces? We will do whatever it takes to screen and identify those at risk of ALS to help prevent new cases. We need to focus on finding new treatments and cures. This means more clinical trials, more participation in research, and more focused research. We need to identify risk factors, treat ALS as soon as possible, and develop preventative treatments. We need to deliver state-of-the-art care and improve assistive technology. Our efforts to make ALS a livable disease brings us closer to a world without ALS. To get there, we're gonna need everyone's help. We will do whatever it takes to make ALS a livable disease. So join us in fighting for people with ALS like me and our loved ones at ALS.org. I joined the cause due to the death of a close family friend due to ALS. His name was Eddie Hackleton. Because of that, I have become involved in raising awareness and trying to stop the disease. I have been able to ally with the ALS Association in the fight, currently raising over $1,000 through various fundraising mediums, including several online platforms and an in-person fundraiser at my local California pizza kitchen. I was able to learn more about the disease through the association by participating in various sponsored events, such as the 2021 National ALS Advocacy Conference and the 2021 Hope and Help Symposium, along with researching the disease on their website and other resources. They have been a great help in my efforts, especially Vincenza Kuvin and Calvin Brooks, with whom I was in direct contact. I hope that I can continue in the fight to end ALS in the future 
and I know that we can fight through this.